Well, as many of you know, Spider-Man No Way Home was pretty much the leakiest movie in the history of movies. And one rumor we were hearing for quite a long time was Charlie Cox being part of the film. Now, if you've seen the movie, and if you haven't, spoiler alert, we know he does actually appear. But it's just as a really good lawyer and for a very short scene. But apparently, this was not always the case. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about how Daredevil was almost a much bigger part of Spider-Man No Way Home and why Marvel Studios decided not to go down that path. Now, before we swing into this though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, our big giveaway. We're finally giving away this PlayStation 5. We crossed 25,000 subscribers. Stay tuned to the channel and we'll make the announcement very soon. Also, if you can, make sure you check out that free week of Skillshare down below. It's a pretty cool way for you to develop all of your superhero skills for that never-ending war on crime, all while not diving too deep into your pocket. Plus, it really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. Well, like we were saying, there were tons of rumors before Spider-Man No Way Home was released that Charlie Cox would return to the role of Matt Murdock, which he had played in the Netflix Daredevil series. Now, when the movie finally played out, it was pretty much a cameo and just portrayed him as a, quote, really good lawyer. Now, he might have only been featured in one scene, but it was memorable and clearly was setting up the future of the Man Without Fear inside of the MCU. But many fans were hopeful for a little bit more, and that almost happened. Now, recently, the Q&A podcast did an interview with writers Chris McKenna and Eric Summers. And they did reveal that there was absolutely a lot of talk about Charlie Cox returning for more than just that one scene. Now, Summer said, that was the challenge with this movie, bringing all of these characters in. We would love these characters, and you would love to see them do all kinds of stuff. But the question is, what is there room for? I could watch any of these characters we brought in just to do a whole other movie by themselves, or some various combinations. But we have to ultimately service the story of our Peter Parker and our Spider-Man, no matter how tempting it is. Now, taking this on face value, it seems to indicate to me that there was at least talk of having Daredevil in the film a lot more, and quite honestly, having him join in that battle royale at the Statue of Liberty in the final scene would have been pretty cool. But, I totally get why they did not give us more of Matt Murdock in this movie. I think because we're going to get a lot more of Matt in she-Hulk and Echo, they didn't want to overuse the character as of yet. Just introducing him here, let fans know this version of Daredevil does exist in the MCU, and although it takes away a little surprise in the future, it does make it pretty easy to interweave stories, and keeping those details under wraps for forever is fairly difficult, so I think it gave Marvel a little bit of breathing room. Now, obviously, She-Hulk is only a couple of months out, and we're probably going to see Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock in that series, but until then, we're going to have to wait and see. What do you guys think? Do you think there was more room for Daredevil in Spider-Man No Way Home than we got? And if so, do you think he would have fit in that final scene, or should we have gotten some other scene featuring just Charlie Cox alone? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates. Peace.